Yeah. So in the last session, we checked how we can read the data from a SQL table and we can join them and we can create a target file. Now in this session, let's see how we can add one more activity to this data flow. Now in the last session, what we checked is we checked that we are reading this uh, data from uh, the SQL and we are creating Parquet file. Now, if we have this Parquet file, how we can convert that into a CSV file? So for that, so my data is available in this Parquet folder and I want to convert it into CSV. So for that, let me use this data flow. Uh, and then let me click on this copy data once again. So here we have multiple options. If it is on success, if I drag this to the next component, that means if this data flow is successful, then only this particular next activity will be triggered. If we click on this, drag this, then once, if it has failed, then only the next activity will be triggered. And on completion means whether it is successful or is it uh, failed, whatever may be the reason, once its execution is completed, then the next activity will be triggered. So here I will be using on completion. And uh, here I need to create a new data set. Sorry, my uh, data set is already available. That is the output parquet. This will be my source here. Here I need to provide the path name. So this is my path. And in my um, sync, I need to create a different uh, uh, data set once again, and it will be again blob stories. And then let me select the delimited text. CSV blob stories. Let me put it under output CSV and it will be none. So basically the output of that uh, uh, file, the data that I'm going to create will be under this output. Means under this output, we will have one more folder called CSV and under this, I will have all the CSV files. Let me click on okay. Now let's validate it. So there is no error. Let's publish it. So here now the only change is the pipeline and the CSV data set. So it will be publishing it. So it is now successful. Now let's trigger it. Add trigger, trigger now. Click on OK. Let's go to monitor and check the status. So you can see one more entry got uh, added here, which is saying, which is just getting triggered. Let's wait for a few seconds. So currently the data flow uh, one is in progress. So once this is completed, copy data will be triggered. So now you can see the data flow has completed uh, and now the copy data has started. It will take a few more minutes to get completed. And in the meantime, let, uh, it's getting completed. So you can see I am running the pipeline. 
So whenever I run any pipeline, a run ID is getting generated. So this is the run ID of that pipeline. And what and this pipeline consists of the activities. So copy data is one activity and data flow is one activity. So for each activity, we will have a activity run ID as well. So run pipeline run ID and activity run ID are both different. So now you can see the copy data got completed. Now let's go to the output. So now you can see one CSV file got created folder. And under this, we have this uh, files. Now let me view this data, sample data. So you can see we have this customer ID, first name, middle name, last name, email address, then the address related information, all those are available. <clears throat> so in this session, we checked how we can uh, copy the data, convert the parquet file into the CSV file. I hope this session is helpful. If it is informative, then please like and share the video and subscribe my channel. Thank you.